we go. What's going on my fellow Z Fighters? My name is Eviler Spartan and welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm gonna try out this new style of video, or not this new style of video, but I'm gonna try out this thing where I give you some of my opinions on Dragon Ball Super or some like theories. I mean, I'm not like 100%, I don't know everything about Dragon Ball and the Dragon Ball Z universe and stuff like that, but I try my best. I mean, I've been a long time fan. I remember going home and watching Dragon Ball Z as a child, like in first or second grade. So I know a good amount. I feel like I'm a diehard fan. What I was thinking is talking about Broly and the future of Broly, I guess you could say. So right now, the power tournament is going on or it's about to start going on and there's people talking about that female broly i was thinking about like they haven't found broly in our universe so technically he's not canon in the universe that we know what if after fighting in the universe they see that female with broly's transformation or the legendary transformation and some people say that each universe or each every thousand years one sand gets that rare transformation and only one of them is able to transform like that so what if they find like okay universe 6 has that female that transform transform into legendary super saiyan transformation and what if after finding her they go out and they're like hey that was a weird transformation i've never seen a transformation like that what if after finding her they go back to their universe and they begin searching i know all the sands didn't die or the planet was destroyed but maybe he wasn't on the planet or maybe he like like on the non-canon movies he wasn't on the planet or he managed to escape before the planet blew up and stuff so maybe that could have happened find a way to make broly canon find finally make him canon so what i'm thinking is he could have survived the explosion or he could have been off planet during the explosion and they go searching for him Maybe they make a wish to Shenron to see if there's a legendary Super Saiyan out there in the universe still alive and stuff like that. Maybe he could be um, somewhere on a different planet or he could be like on, on the other side of the universe destroying things or he could be frozen in time or in a capsule or something like that. Just like throwing out random ideas and they go searching for him and they find him and they awaken him or they find him and he just goes berserk they find out that he's a lot stronger than a super saiyan blue or not a lot stronger than super saiyan blue but he's at their level he, he could give goku and vegeta a run for their money and since he's a super saiyan and an legendary super saiyan he could be even stronger because they get the zenkai boost that's how saiyans are and that's how the race is so maybe he could get one of those zenkai boost and become a lot stronger or he just keeps on getting stronger and stronger and they can't figure out a way to kill him or they have to do something i don't know maybe it could be a pretty cool little arc where they go looking for the legendary super saiyan and they just have to fight broly and it turns out you know he's evil like how he has been in the movies and yeah they just fight him like i think it would be really cool if they seen the female broly in the universe six in that tournament and they're like hey let's go look for our version of the legendary super saiyan in our universe universe seven and see if we could find him or see if they could find anything close to broly and maybe that's that could be a good nice way to introduce broly and make him finally canon i think it would be a pretty cool idea if you like this type of video let me know if you guys want me to talk about more things or what my opinions of what if could be in the future of Dragon Ball Super, let me know and I'll be more than happy to make a video off of those things or of different theories and stuff like that or what I might think. So, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for all the support. It really does mean a lot. Having you guys support me, it's been like a dream come true. I'm closing in on 2,500 um, subscribers, so it really does mean a lot. And I really do appreciate all of you guys, whoever watched my videos daily, whoever watches a video anytime they get the chance. If you just watch one video, I really do appreciate it. Those people that stay active and are constantly watching and waiting for my content. It makes me really happy, guys. So stay tuned, guys, and let me know what you guys think. So I'll see you guys later. Yeah.